Hey friends, it's Tiger. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am here with another design idea video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you all 10 different designs for your island entrance. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Sit back and relax and get ready to see some amazing entrance ideas created by some amazing people. I'm literally so excited to share these with you guys. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. The first entrance was created by Azkio, the island on Instagram. Shout out to Donnie, I love you so much. This one is so unique and so different from any other entrance that I've seen. I really love the pathway in this area. It's the in-game dirt pathway with some custom designs and weeds placed on top of it. He also has the Nook's Cranny over on the left side, making it very accessible for visitors, which I always really enjoy that. He also created this little visitor station in the background with a villager house and there's luggage and books and it looks like a place to check in to the island, like if you're visiting from... I don't know if you're going on vacation here, I guess. I don't really know how to explain that very well, but I hope that you guys get what I'm talking about. And yeah, I just really like how it's like a rustic town vibe, but it's also not too much like the city. And yeah, it just looks really nice. There's not a whole lot of cliffs going on. It's just like a very flat entrance. And I thought that was really interesting and unique. And he really pulled it off. It looks so good. I adore this one. Next up, we have this cottage court entrance by Crossing Lorian. I adore this entrance so much. It was so peaceful and inviting. I love that Wolfgang was wandering around while I was recording. He is adorable. She has cliffs on either side of the entrance, which looks really nice. There's so many cute little details, like this tiny lucky cat. There's butterfly models, the shell fountain up on the cliff. Everything just looks really well put together and. And I love the pathing here with the circular shaped stone paths with the stone like stepping stones in between it I guess it looks really nice and it looks great against the green tones of all the nature items that are everywhere this one was just so cute and precious I don't know what it is about it but I, I just really like it so much it's so homey and just cozy I guess and you can see it leads up right to the plaza and yeah I just I love this one. Here we have this city kid core styled entrance by Ribbit Puddle on Instagram. I love her so much. They are so amazing. I really like the simplicity of this one. It's right next to the plaza. So yes, you can create a good entrance if your plaza is right next to your entrance. Don't worry. I have you covered. I have some inspiration for you. I also really liked how she had the mailbox right at the entrance. I thought that was really charming. And she just used all these like sophisticated city items, but also mixed in a lot of really colorful and vibrant kitty oriented color themed items. <laughs> that was a mouthful, sorry. But yeah, this one was just really nice. I really like how she puts stuff on top of the vending machines too. That was a really nice detail. And the pathway looks really cool with like the custom border going around it to kind of make it look like a street, I guess. And yeah, this one was definitely really relaxing to visit with the Sakura petals floating around while I was running and recording. It was just a really nice place to be, so... Here we have this Tropicor Island entrance by Wolfgang Crossing on Instagram. She also streams over on Twitch, so I will put that in the description along with all of these creators so that you guys can check out their pages and see more of their islands. This one was magnificent. I love the marble tiled pathway that she had around her entire island. There was also this really pretty outdoor bath kind of hidden encased in these cliffs right at the entrance, which was just gorgeous. I love the vibrant 
loud colors of the flowers. There was a surf rental area with some bicycle parking, lots of bamboo trees and coconut trees. And again, the Nook's Cranny was right here, which is really convenient. This one was definitely one of my top favorites. It was just so colorful and just really nice and refreshing to visit. I felt like I was on a real island and yeah, I just really enjoyed this one. It was so unique. The layout was very interesting. I've never seen anything like it before and I really am so glad that Emily let me feature her island on this video. So definitely go check her out. She is amazing. Next is this beautiful cottagecore-esque entrance by Black Rock Island on Instagram. This one was so serene and peaceful. She had this really pretty pathway that kind of led up to the residential service area. She also had a moon going on and so many mushroom items. There was even a mushroom welcome sign and a mushroom pathway that she had used. It was just so nice. I really liked it. It just fit all really nicely together. The flowers really complemented the mushrooms too since she used red flowers. And you can see that she had like a staircase kind of right in front of the plaza, which I thought was really interesting. I'd never seen that before. This one was just very relaxing, honestly, and very pretty to look at. Very simplistic, but also detailed. And yeah, I hope that you guys like it. Next up, we have this entrance created by New Horizons Creation on Instagram. This one was so nice. All the colors looked amazing together. There were so many different brown tones and greens and whites, and everything just complemented each other perfectly. I loved the lighthouse on top of the cliff in the background. It looked legendary. It was amazing. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, on the right side, there was this pathway that led up to the residential services and again the flow on this island was just really magnificent everything was so organic and so lovely i loved the item choice in this area everything was so pretty and well placed i loved the ukulele on top of the barrel it was such a nice touch right at the entrance right when you walked in that's what you saw and i loved that honestly i think that this one was so beautiful and i would love to visit again and see the rest of their island whenever they finish because honestly i was just really feeling this one i don't know what it was maybe it's just because i am obsessed with the cottagecore theme but yeah i just i loved it Here we have this lovely festive entrance by Croacoid on Instagram. I absolutely adore this creator. Everything they do is so beautiful. I was so excited to visit this one. It was very fall and holiday-esque. It kind of reminded me of Christmas and Halloween and just the fall holiday season. There were so many different little festive items around like the reindeer and the Christmas trees and globes. It was so nice. And again, the color coordination on this one was amazing. It was also very symmetrical and I loved all the pathways that they used. There were so many different ones and it just looked amazing, honestly. Like, it was just so perfect. I have never seen anyone kind of do this before, like the festive theme, and it just looked really, really nice, and it was refreshing to see something that was like completely different than everything else that I normally look at, I guess. And at the entrance, she had a little rocking chair and a welcome sign with those market little banner thingies. I don't know what they're called, but yeah. You know what I'm talking about. It looked amazing. I loved everything. Again, the item choice was on point. Up next is this tropical entrance by Ratad underscore E Campo. I hope I said that right. I adore this one. The bridge in like the middle was just really, really nice with the street lamps kind of around it. There was a seating area with some coconut juice. And again, this one was really close to the residential services. So yes, you can do things if your island is, if your residential service is close to your entrance, I promise. 
they also have this little relaxing area that you can see with the surfboard and the beach chair and the coconut juice. I loved it so much. It was so nice. Again, I really liked the bamboo trees and the coconut trees. And yeah, it was very simplistic, but at the same time, it was just like so much colors and it was it was amazing. I really, really enjoyed this one. It was small and simple, but it just looked amazing. Up next, we have this amazing entrance by the one and only Froggy Crossing. Some of you guys may know her from YouTube. We just did a collaboration video a few days ago, so if you haven't seen that yet, definitely check it out. I love her entrance so much. All the water features around look so great together, and there's just like an assortment of different unique items that you don't normally see. There's Raven in the background. Don't, don't look at her. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I really like all the little details like the coconut trees kind of planted that haven't grown yet and the little moon chair and the star fragments. Everything was just very peaceful and dreamy. The view from above was so cool with all the water features around. I just loved it so much and yeah, you guys should definitely go check out her channel. Last but not least, we have this entrance by Tom Nook, I Am In Debt. You guys may recognize this name because I featured this person a few times in my last design idea videos. This entrance was so cool. There was just like this awesome staircase right off the bat that led up to this beautiful cliff area with a cliffside postal office type space and a bunch of trees and different stuff. I love the giant teddy bear and there was another staircase that led down into the residential services. I thought that that was amazing. The post office was really cool. There was teddy bears and the mailbox. These really cool simple panel designs that look like P.O. boxes. And yeah, this one was so unique. The view from the cliff was just like amazing. You could see all these waterfalls and all this really cool stuff. And it was cherry blossom season, which you guys know I love so much. The pink and the green are like my favorite color combination ever. And yeah, this one was just really unique. I honestly have never seen just like a staircase right at the entrance. And I thought that that was so cool and I was so excited to share this one with you guys. Excuse my excitedness. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you guys like this one as much as I do. So yeah, that sums up the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed all of these entrances. Comment down below which one was your favorite and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I am posting now on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, so yeah, I'm so sorry I'm not doing daily uploads anymore, but I will see you guys on Thursday with another video, I promise. Have a great day or night. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!